what up youtube fellow artists and creators welcome to my channel welcome back if you have watched any of my previous videos so um if you are running into my video then that means you are probably in the market for a new studio desk diy studio desk and um found the right video um so i pretty much built my desk back in 2020 when i finished building my studio um, and I've been wanting to make a video for a little while now, but honestly, my desk was actually a hot mess for a long time. Um, I was working out of my laptop for a while and it was just, I don't know, it just didn't look that appealing, to be honest with you. So, uh, I got a new laptop, uh, maybe about a month ago now, and I cleaned up my desk. I built these little boxes here to set my monitors on to bring them up to ear level. Um, kind of starting to get into mixing now, so... Um, yeah, man, it just looks a lot better now. Uh, so I thought I'd finally make this video. You know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a step-by-step -step on how I built the video or just talk about it and be honest with you. It's a pretty easy build. It's not very complicated. So I can just talk about it and I'll, I'll give you pretty much the layout of how I built it. This was the first one that I made. Um, I ended up making a few of them for other people. But this was the first, first one I made. It was like a prototype and... You know, it, it's still standing strong and it's been serving its purpose. Um, so I'm gonna grab the camera right now and just kind of show you guys what I did. Um, so yeah. All right, man, so here's the desk. I went ahead and pulled out the keyboard uh, so I can show you guys a little better. Um, and again, one of the main reasons why I built this desk was because I wanted something with the rollout shelf. And it seemed like anything in the market with the roller, with the rollout shelf um, was over $1,000. So, you know, I actually pretty much built this desk for around 300 bucks. Uh, it'd probably be a little more now because material has gone up. Um, but you'd probably still be under the $400 mark. Um, so I'm just going to run through and you know talk about a few different things uh, before I get to the rollout shelf uh, let me just quickly talk about the legs so you know when I thought of the idea of building the desk um, I knew I wanted metal legs I didn't want it to be all wood but I'm no welder so what did I do I went on Etsy and I looked for metal legs and I found pretty much exactly what I had in mind um, so I found this seller, uh, you know, awesome uh, iron worker, does really clean work. Um, I actually gave him the heads up that I was going to make this video and that I would link them in the description. So, you know, if you end up, if you decide to go this route, um, just hit that link and it'll take you to his, uh, to his page and let him know I sent you. So let me move these out the way. By the way, I actually, I also got this little thing recently it's pretty cool i'll probably link that too for the headphones um so yeah man one of the cool things about these legs is that you could order them to the exact size that you want um mine i decided to go 31 inches high by 24 wide and you know so it was a perfect size for me um you know you could order them in a raw finish or in a matte black decide to go matte black it's about a 25 30 dollar difference which isn't bad you know when i got my legs at the time um i paid i don't know i think it was like around 220 with shipping which was you know very reasonable um i'm pretty sure they're a little more now but you never know he might give you a discount if you let him know i sent you i don't know let him know <laughs> um so what's really cool about this is that uh, so he pretty much just drills holes in the bottom that way you could just drill them into whatever wood you decide to go with so when i built mine i wasn't too sure if i wanted to use two by sixes or two by four so i'm like hey i'm not too sure what i'm gonna put on it if you don't mind just put a few extra holes you can't really come on. you probably could see them a little bit uh, i was like hey if you don't mind uh, can you just put some extra holes down there and yeah man he was really cool about it he put some extra holes in there and it worked out you know they these doors get shipped right to you uh, I, i'm pretty sure i don't know if he ships um out of the u.s but if you're in the u.s for sure he could get you these so yeah man that was the legs um now uh as far as like the top you know this was reclaimed wood so uh, these two by sixes were 
they were all kind of kind of uh, they weren't that straight so as you can see it's a little imperfect but it is what it is it's all good so luckily I had a table saw that my friend had let me borrow at the time so like I said um, I used uh, these two by sixes so you know two by sixes are actually five and a half inches wide so I had to use one two three four five of them but I pretty much had to cut um, I had to trim them down from both sides and I'm not gonna lie that was kind of annoying um, especially since the wood wasn't straight and just man I made a bunch of sawdust doing that so when I built another one of these desks for someone else I didn't really want to do that so I asked them if they were okay with with the desk being uh, 22 and a half inches wide which is requires uh, four two by sixes and they were cool with it so again you know mine is 24 inches so yeah it kind of sucks that one by sixes are not exact i mean i'm sorry it's, uh, it sucks that two by sixes are not actually six inches wide you know they're five and a half so that'll throw you off so i mean again you could go whatever route you want as far as as far as the top but just keep that in mind um i think tw if you go 22 and a half it's perfect. You just use two by sixes. You just do four of them, and you just order your legs to twenty-two and a half inches wide, and um, it'll be perfect. And also, like I said, I think thirty-one inches tall on the legs is is perfect as well. Um, let's talk about the rollout shelf. How did I do this? So, uh, one of the first things you want to do, you know, you have to measure out your keyboard. The you know the length and how tall it is and you know in all directions so you're gonna have to pick out the one by that uh is that fits your keyboard pretty much so i think this is like a one by ten and uh these little side woods that i use little sideboards here are the one by threes they're they're like the cheapest ones you can find they're like on usually to the side of these guys they're only like a few bucks so you know you can definitely get those and what I did here was I put I put this back piece for extra support but I'll be quite honest if I built this thing again I probably wouldn't put it on there because I don't really feel like you need it I think as long as you use wood glue on these side ones and put at least three screws in um, you'll be fine with that and the reason I say that was because um, you're gonna have to drill out wherever your USB cord goes in and I did these two little holes and they didn't quite align so my keyboard doesn't sit in there nicely because the cord kind of hits somewhere right here. So um, you could probably get away without using that, but you know, it's up to you. Um, so one thing I will point out, so when I got these uh, rollout brackets, you know, they're just really, they're just regular brackets, you know, they're, I don't, you know, for drawers. So, um, you know, it has a little bit of wiggle room probably because of how far apart they are. Um, and also when you know if you if you pull on it from one side it gets a little stuck because it comes out you know the it doesn't come out evenly so no big deal you know you just pull it out from the middle and it comes out just fine um, another thing is that you know if I did build this again I would look for uh, I would look for uh, brackets that I don't know have like a mechanism where it, where it clicks when it's out and requires a bit of force to push back in because this one just comes right out and goes right in so you know for me it's not a big deal but if you're somebody that goes hard on the keys it might kind of go in on you and you might find that a little annoying I don't know but like I said it's, it doesn't really go in on me I just you know I don't go that hard on the keyboard <laughs> all right so another thing is you know uh, one of the last things you want to do is you know build this thing out and then it comes to you know it comes time to slide your keyboard in here and turns out it's not fitting because it's hitting right so we want to avoid that um so you know just make sure you measure out your keyboard or if you can um just google your keyboard and look at the exact dimensions of it so you can see what height it is and what you want to do is cut this piece an inch tall uh bigger than whatever your keyboard measures in height so for example my keyboard is three and a half inches tall I cut this guy a little over um, four and a half inches just to be on the safe side. So if you want to be on the safe side, cut it just a little over an inch taller and you should be fine. Um, again, you know, this piece right here, 
you're gonna have to add this piece of wood because that's what you're gonna attach your bracket to when I assemble this you know I assembled the, the, the rollout to this before I even attached it to the top piece um, you know I pretty much assembled this on my workbench because you want these two to be you know flush and you know if you've never you know this was my first time pretty much messing with um, drawer brackets so you know I just kind of aligned them you know just make sure you have a little pen or marker so you um, align everything and I don't know man I can't even explain it but you know just align everything and you'll be fine they have, these have like they have this little lever right here where if you pull it up you can slide them out so whenever you get them you're gonna have to slide them out to uh connect them individually um yeah i can't even explain it man i'm sorry but you're gonna have to figure that part out um <laughs> uh, what else so yeah man when i connected these guys i just pretty much um pre-drilled some little holes in here and did one through here did one through the back side and i used wood glue and i did this while the table was upside down um so like i said i assembled this first i had i literally had these connected um and then my table the, you know the table was upside down and then that's when i started drilling everything in i pretty much based everything off the size of this so um before i drilled anything in i you know i had the table upside down i put these in and i scoot you know and then i put the the legs on so um you know i pretty much assembled it upside down <laughs> again it's kind of hard to explain but that's how i did it um another thing you could do here uh if you know for a little extra support you could just get like some little L brackets and just do like two on each side um, you know I haven't had a problem yet because I, I also did add some screws in here uh, but yeah I kind of can't really see but um some of my go-to screws you know if you're somebody who's never really um, messed with uh, woodwork stuff these are my go-to screws whenever i um, doing stuff like this um, they have like a like a cone head so it kind of like goes it kind of goes into the wood so you're able to kind of pretty much cover them with a uh, wood seal i didn't do it here because i just got lazy but everywhere else on on this guy I, I pretty much did you could just put wood filler in it and just sand it down real quick and you don't see all the holes um, but damn man i'm sorry i kind of couldn't explain it too good but I mean, you get the idea, you know, reach out to me if you have any questions um, as far as the build. I mean, if enough if enough people watch this video, I don't know how this video will do, but, you know, um, if a lot of people end up watching it and you guys request a step-by-step -step video, I might just do that. I've had a lot of people reach out to build the desk, but like I said, I just haven't really done it only because I haven't, um, I don't want to do it with these brackets again. And I haven't even done my homework to see if I could find some, but I'm pretty sure I can. There might be a better way of doing this, honestly. Um, and yeah, man, like I said, I, I recently built these little boxes. <laughs> um, I had some extra wood and I was like, you know what? Uh, oh, and I built this guy too. So I just did this little thing and I drilled a, drilled a little power bank into it and I slid my old laptop underneath there. And these boxes turned out pretty cool, man. Um, I did them like nine, they're like nine by nine. And then I found these little boxes on Amazon. I spray painted them black and I just, well, this one doesn't have much in it, but you know, pretty cool to just throw things in there. So um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, like I said, it's uh, not a very hard build. It's kind of hard to explain how I did a few things, but you know, you get the idea. I mean, if you, if you I, if you get the legs delivered to your front door, I think you could pretty much build this thing out, man. All you need is a drill, some screws, and, uh, and you know, a saw, and you could do it, man. So, like I said, if you have any questions, reach out. But uh, there it is. Peace.